Hello brothers and sisters. Now I love stories like this because they get lost in the woodwork and they don't get reported on and people don't talk about things like this. Great awakening is exploding in Iran. Visions, dreams and miraculously answered prayers are taking place. Christianity is illegal in Iran yet despite facing imprisonment, torture and execution, millions of Iranians are forsaking their Muslim faith and converting to Christianity. According to Open Doors International, there are more than 1.2 million believers residing within the reach of the brutal Islamic Iranian regime. This phenomena is happening despite the regime's efforts to target believers and spread false information and encourage a negative opinion about Christianity. Leila Gilbert, Senior Fellow for International Religious Freedom at Family Research Council, suggests that Iran holds little power over curtailing the good news of Jesus Christ. In my research and interviews, it has become clear that new Christians' witness to others is mostly shared in quiet conversations, encouraged by low-profile online Bible studies, and affirmed by visions, dreams, and miraculously answered prayers, she explained. Due to the risky circumstances, recent Christian converts are enthusiastically communicating about their changed lives with friends and loved ones, but quietly and carefully. However, their discreet but persistent witness accounts for the extraordinary number of new believers who meet in small house churches, Gilbert said. Those involved with the house church movement in Iran are convinced that there are likely several million Christian believers there already. An evangelical pastor, formerly an Iranian Muslim, concurred as far back as 2008 already. We find ourselves facing what is more than a conversion to the Christian faith. It is a mass exodus from Islam. Uh, Pipes adds that the house church is key to the growth of the Christian faith in Iran. He explains the practice of what are sometimes called Muslim background believers lacks clergy and church buildings, but instead consists of self-starting disciples and tiny house churches of four to five members each, with either hushed singing or no singing at all. And Christ is moving through the population. How encouraging and exciting is that? They don't need the auditorium to see 20,000 people. They don't need the massive spotlights and the Hollywood style sound systems and everything. They don't need the millions of dollar paycheck pastors and priests and whatnot that are performing for the masses and seeing no change. They need four or five people quietly whispering about how beautiful God is, how amazing he is, testifying by the word of their testimony. There is power in testimony. Michael stands against Lucifer. He couldn't overcome him on his own. By the power of the blood and the word of our testimony, he overcomes him. The blood of Jesus Christ and the power of testimony overcomes the devil and evil. Testimony can't be taken away from you. And the Holy Spirit uses that testimony to change lives because it's something real and tangible that people can relate to. And now you're seeing it in Iran as well, in a country where you can get tortured and murdered if you come out as a Christian. Testimony is having the same effect in Israel, where I can tell you stories of there are definitely, within Orthodox circles, many who have turned to Messiah and follow Yeshua already. And they've accepted Him through testimony and through quiet conversations. And are in those places suffering persecution if it is even known. God is moving. We should also be moving so that God can just use us wherever the opportunity arises. We are going to snatch as many as we can before we leave. God bless. Keep looking up. And if anything, this should show you, you can do this. You can have that quiet conversation over the fence with your neighbor, with that person at the grocery store, with the taxi driver. You can do this. Shalom.